In this illustration, we are analyzing the electric field in overlapping charged sphere. You can see the picture. And here it says figure shows two spheres uniformly charged with volume density plus rho and minus rho. And the centers are at a separation A. And the overlapping region, this region is free from charge because equal and opposite charges are overlapped. And we are required to find the electric field strength at a general point P, which is inside the overlapping region. So here we use the similar phenomena which we have used in one of the earlier illustration where we calculated electric field within a cavity. So here we assume if there is a complete positively charged sphere and point P is located at a position vector x. Then due to the positive charge here electric field is in this direction we write it as E1 vector. So we can write electric field at P due to positive charge, positively charged sphere is this we can write as E1 vector and the value will be given as rho x vector by 3 epsilon. Now. Similarly, if this point P is located at a position y vector with respect to the center of another sphere. So here electric field due to the negative charge will be in this direction which is E2 vector. So we write electric field at P due to this negatively charged sphere is this you can write as E2 vector which is given as rho y vector by 3 epsilon naught with a negative sign because the direction of E2 vector is opposite to this y vector. Now in this situation we can directly calculate the net electric field at point P due to both of these spheres can be given as E P vector is equals to E1 vector plus E2 vector. So this will be if we substitute the values this rho by 3 epsilon naught this x vector minus y vector. So here x vector minus y vector will be this vector which is a position vector of a center of second sphere with respect to the first sphere. So here I can also write this as a vector which is equals to x vector minus y vector. So this is rho by 3 epsilon naught multiplied by a vector. That will be the answer to this problem and here we can see if the two spheres are overlapping this positive and this negative. And if the centers are displaced by a position vector A, then we can see in the cavity region the electric field everywhere is uniform and its magnitude is given by rho A vector by 3 epsilon. Naught.